What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Eshi and I do a ton of DIYs and personal finance videos. And today I am going to share with you a very quick walkthrough of the progress that we have made in our new apartment. If you haven't seen it already, I actually started a moving series because we moved from Detroit, Michigan all the way to San Diego, California. So I will leave that playlist right here for you. It's only been two months where so there's still plenty to do, but I did want to show you what we've gotten done so far. And come maybe mid July, July, I'm gonna be doing a couple room makeovers showing you room by room, area by area, the finished product. Before we get started, if you could do me a huge favor and click that like button and hit subscribe if you are excited for those room makeovers. And something else to look forward to, I will be putting out some wedding content coming up very soon. So let's jump right into it. We are gonna start off with the room that's probably in the most disarray, to be honest. Um, yeah, there's like things in the way of the actual door. It's, it's annoying at this point, but let me explain why this is so not done still. So over here, you can probably see, this is our litter box that we had back in Detroit. We brought it with us here to San Diego, but we actually got this Ikea piece that I wanted to DIY and make into a litter cabinet itself. Um, I'm gonna put holes in the sides of the furniture so the cats can get in. It's gonna be a whole DIY, and I've had it planned for a long, long time, have not gotten around to it. And you can kind of see in the background there, um, yeah, those are the rugs that are supposed to go in the entryway, so <laughs> here's hoping that they actually, you know, make its way onto the floor. Here's hoping that I actually finish that DIY, and actually, if you recognize this chair, we had it in Detroit as well. We have two of these chairs. The other one is in our bedroom, I'll show you that. But this is also going to go in that corner. The IKEA litter cabinet DIY is gonna go where the litter cabinet currently is. It looks like such a mess. I kind of didn't even want to show you the entryway to be honest, but you know what? These, this is the reality. We're like two to three months into the move, still haven't figured out everything, but there you go. So the entryway, it's right there where I was just showing you and the hallway is right here. And we did manage to put up this mirror. Um, that is not staying there. That's just out of necessity for right now. And actually we also have this long full length mirror. I don't know if you remember this from Detroit as well, but we want to fit this into the entryway over there so that you can kind of like do a full check out of your outfit before you walk out the door but because it's already so cramped in there right now with extra things, we just left it in the hallway, but this will eventually go in the entryway. But yeah, the hallway is like super, super bare right now. As you can see, I eventually want to put up artwork like here or here maybe with like those really nice um, painting lights on top, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I want to do with this hallway. Nothing too crazy, but like, I would love the artwork to be huge, like big canvas or maybe like two big canvases. I would, I would love to actually start investing in art or honestly doing them myself. Like I am pretty artsy. I used to paint and draw when I was little, so I feel like I could pull it off, but maybe I'm getting a little too ahead of myself. We'll see how it goes. Now, when you face the other way in the same hallway, so here's the mirror, we actually um, did quite a lot in the office and we have hung up all of our, well, not hung up, I guess, put in the floating shelf that we used to put my uh, shoes on. We have instead used it as our makeshift bookcase. Now, this is not necessarily its final form. Currently, I've just put all of my books on here, all of the books that used to be on my bookshelf in Detroit, if you remember. That bookshelf actually got completely destroyed in the move, so we opted instead to use the floating shelves for the bookcase, but I think I'm going to move some of these books around into other places that I'll show you in just a second and put more like decor and antiques on here as well. So not completely decorated, but this is what it is for right now. And when you turn over here, we have the office that I'll show you in just a second. And then we have the guest bathroom. Um, haven't done much in here, so I'm not gonna spend too much time in here. We have just literally the essentials. So like bath mats, towels, soap, a candle, and, and that's about it. So <laughs> let's move on. Okay, so the office. We have done actually quite a bit in here. The lighting is a little weird in here just because it is so bright, but as you can see, 
we have completely wallpapered this wall and the IKEA pullout Farloff couch is still running strong. It has hosted many a guest so far and they all love it. So I'm really pleased with this purchase. Um, like I said, the wallpaper has been done and I freaking love it. It looks even better in person if you can imagine, like the gold tones really come out in it. So I really, really freaking love it. The gold lamps to kind of match. Um, the Ikea desk, DIY dual desk setup is also still going strong. <laughs> Something I have to note every time, I really freaking hate the office chairs, but you know what? We spend so much time at our desks. We both have desk jobs that it's kind of inevitable. I hate his white office chair. It just like, I don't know. It just looks really, really odd. But again, he loves his office chair and I can't do much about that. So that is what it is. We have the cat tower in this corner so that the cats can hang out with us when we are spending our entire day working from home. We do have a pendant light up. We have the clock up on the wall. I would really like to get more artwork here, maybe like two pictures or just one big one. I'm not sure yet. We don't have a carpet in here and that's purely because, first of all, I didn't want to spend extra money on it just yet. <laughs> and also um, our office chairs are on those like really super super glidey roller blade wheels. I think that's what you call them. I don't know. They're just like very easily pushed across the room and we, we like that. And if we put a carpet in there, it kind of like defeats the purpose of getting like the nicer wheels. So, so far, no carpet. I know there's definitely, it, there's a sense of this room being unfinished for sure. And I'm, and I'm trying to pull it together, but there's bits and pieces that I like so far. Obviously the wallpaper and the pendant light, love that. We're back in the hallway and when you turn around, I think this is where the most progress has really been. So let's start off with this wall. So if you remember, this little installation was also in my Detroit apartment. I actually built this completely myself. I found scrap wood at Home Depot, sanded, stained it. I spray painted all of the pipes. I put it all together to make this big open shelf and I really, freaking still love it. My style has definitely evolved since the Detroit apartment, but things that I just create with my own two hands, I just, I don't know, I obviously have a special attachment to it, so I definitely brought it here. It's styled the exact same way as it was in Detroit. So definitely none of the apartment is really like decorated with the finishing touches like I would want. So like I said, the bookshelves right here, I definitely wanna incorporate more books onto this shelf. I wanna put more of this decor on these shelves. I wanna put more of the decor like all over the apartment. So definitely just keep that in mind and none of this is decorated, no finishing touches at all. I just put all of the stuff back on these shelves that were in Detroit to just keep them there for now and I haven't touched them since. So definitely still working on the finishing touches. And moving right through to the living room. Like I said, I think this is where the majority of the actual work has gone in. Now it's not like this is completely done either to be fair, but the major furniture pieces are all kind of right here. So I'll take you through it really quickly. I know in my empty apartment tour, I was kind of talking through like what the setup would be. And I did end up going with this area being the living room, as you can see. There's a little rat right there. <laughs> and then this area is the dining room, obviously. So I kind of stuck with what I said I was gonna do in my empty apartment tour. Um, I'm not gonna go through any details because stay tuned for my room makeover series where I go through all of the details of what I did. And like I said, this is not styled. It's not complete. None of the finishing touches are there. Everything's kind of just like all over the place and I've like stuck things into places to keep them there for now. So stay tuned for the actual room makeover reveals where everything will hopefully be done. But yeah, I mean, this is just like a quick overview of all the things that I've kind of gotten done in the last two months. And I'm pretty proud of it, to be honest. We've hosted a couple times, people have had seats. So what more can you really ask for? Something I'm definitely having like difficulties with that maybe you guys can help me with is kitchen styling. I don't think I've ever really done kitchen styling very well. And it just kind of confuses me to be honest because we have such little countertop for actual cooking that I can't like put a bunch of things in it. And also like we use that rice cooker every single day. We use that air fryer a lot of the times. We use like the wok all the time. We use the cutting board all the time, the drying rack, like that little tea station, the water. These are all the things 
that we use on a daily basis, so we have to keep it on the countertops, right? I mean, it looks messy though, so I don't know what to do, and it's not like I can add in extra decor and take up like precious countertop space. So please, in the comments, let me know how you handle kitchen decor and like all the appliances, what you do with them. We don't have that much space in the in the cabinets either to like stuff these things out. And honestly, it's not practical. We use the rice cooker every single day. Why would we want to put it away? You know what I mean? I don't know. In the comments, let me know your thoughts about kitchen styling. And maybe another thing you guys can help me with that I'm kind of debating on. So there's like a lot of, you know, empty space, which is needed because Again, Chumley cooks a lot, so like he needs all of the space. I'm not about to put anything else, but I'm thinking that like a long runner would be nice because we have, you know, the rug over here. We don't have a rug underneath the dining room table and I don't think I'm going to do that, but I think maybe like a nice long runner would be nice. And I'm also trying to figure out like the color, right? So I'm thinking because of this color scheme we have going on already, there's lots of like greens and yellows. I'm thinking like a really dark red, like a vintagey runner. You let me know in the comments below what you think though. Okay, and moving into the last room, which is the bedroom. This is where a lot of work still absolutely needs to be done. So keep that in mind. Like I said, it's still, you know, a work in progress, but when we walk in, here is the bedroom. Now one thing, one major thing that we actually got accomplished earlier is this wallpaper. Oh my God, I freaking love it. We wallpapered the ceiling and I think it was the best decision ever. Uh, next steps really are to paint all these walls that go around this little area. So there's like an entrance to the bedroom and I'm not gonna paint these walls like right here, but I don't know if you can tell, probably not, but like the, the actual area for the bed is kind of like its own little cave and I really wanna make it a cave. I'm gonna show you some of the paint samples that we have up on the wall right now. Um, yeah, you know what I'm drawn to? These, 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 <laughs> like, like the darkest blue possible, but that's honestly what I'm drawn to. Um, and I think it would look really, really great with the super dark wallpaper. I'm gonna have dark, dark curtains and those are all my paint supplies please don't mind me um and then like the carpet this is again a carpet from detroit we kept it and i didn't really see the need to get like a new carpet i still really like it so it has those blues and like those reds so i definitely want to tie in that dark blue is what i'm going for we'll see if it works again that's the um the other chair that i found at a garage sale that i repainted that i love it there don't mind the cat bed we also got another cat stand for the rats um these two nightstands um we'll we'll see how i feel maybe i'll like switch out the drawer poles and yeah have lots of plans for this but that's a general overview so far and again like the realities of the things that we still have not gotten done that is <laughs> my old like by my, my mom's old antique little stand that i'm gonna keep in here um to like house all of our keys and stuff boxes of things that we still need to put up other random decor like this is this is the reality of how we're living right now so i just want to show you like the real real thing yeah the closet is um stocked full of all of our crap we did decide to keep both of our things in here so chumley stuff is all right there um and in the drawers we got a little chest of drawers in here all of my stuff is right here all of my shoes are real pretty and displayed his shoes are up there you get the gist we did decide to put all of our stuff both combined in here instead of using the guest closet because we needed the guest closet for like extra storage and again, the master bathroom, oh God, that's a bra behind the, that, don't, don't look at my bra. <laughs> we haven't done much with the bathroom. It's still pretty like sterile white, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, still love the standing shower, love it to death, but it's, you know, the walls, nothing with the walls yet. And I would love to get some floating shelves in here, some artwork, so stay tuned for that. Totally forgot to mention the balcony, so let's go out there for a second. It may be loud, I apologize. So we definitely do have some furniture in here already. I definitely have to move a couple things around. We got this new side table that I really, really love, but it's probably not gonna go there. We'll see, we'll see. I do love the furniture we got. 
Um, again, I'm not gonna go into too many details, but here's the setup so far. Love the rug. I mean, you guys, could you ever get sick of this freaking view? That's the ocean. We live near the ocean. It still blows my mind every single day that you can see mountains. Okay, it's a little foggy today, but you can see mountains and the ocean and a beach. I mean, like, I don't, I don't know. I'm so excited. I feel like you would be too if you were here with me. It's just like gorgeous. Like, look at this freaking view. Oh my God. Yes, I was risking it all and hanging off of my balcony to show you this view. If nothing else, give me a like for that. <laughs> Here is another view of the balcony. Um, you can probably see, like, I kept that area pretty blank. Uh, I think I talked about this in my empty apartment tour, but that side I think I'm gonna just use for my DIYs. Like, if I ever need to paint things or cut wood, it's gonna be on that side so it doesn't mess with the furniture. So I think, yeah, it's just lacking a lot of decor, you know? Just lacking the oomph. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any opinions on the things I showed you and the questions that I asked you, don't forget to leave a comment down below because I want to hear all of your opinions and all of your advice, please tell me. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit subscribe for more DIY content coming up and I will see you guys next time.